Director of Incubator Art Lab at the University of Windsor. For the next two months, my team members and I will be doing the Sundays in the Studio workshops for the EGW. Hello everyone, my name is Angela Awada. I am the BioArt Lab Technician here in the Incubator Art Lab. Today I have with me Dr. Jennifer Willett. Um, she's the director and we will be sharing um, Chef's Pasta from the 2014 film, um, Chef. So today I'm here as Angela Awada's assistant. I'm going to assist uh, her with her project. We're gonna do another food-based project. So bioart, art and biotechnology, or art and biology, often also involves food as one of the media for production of contemporary art. Over to you, Angela. All right, so let's get started. We have our water and our pasta. You're gonna need approximately four liters. Um, I have some salt over here. I have a cup, which you will see why we need it later. We have approximately half a pound of linguine pasta, a colander, half a cup of olive oil, a saute pan, some chili flakes in a mortar and pestle, but you could also use just powdered chili. And then we also have half uh, a lemon juice, and then we have half a head of garlic, and we have one bundle of parsley. So once we have rinsed our fresh parsley, we're gonna go ahead and finely chop it. And now we're gonna slice the garlic. So if you have some chili flakes, you can just crush them. And if you have powder ones, you can use that too. All right, so now that our water's boiling, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And all this does is it makes sure that our noodles don't stick together because the oil is hydrophobic and it doesn't like water. So as it coats the noodles, they'll be nicely separated. We're also going to heavily salt it. So now that our pasta has been cooked al dente, we're going to take a quarter cup of the pasta water and we're going to put it on the side. So now we're going to add a half a cup of olive oil to our saute pan. And we're not going to wait for it to boil as olive oil has a low smoke point. Um, once you start to reach that temperature, it becomes harmful and not consumable. Uh, and we're going to wait for it to shimmer. We're going to add our garlic. And we're not going to toast our garlic. We're just going to barely cook it. And garlic is full of antioxidants and it's super healthy for you and gets rid of free radicals in your body. At this point, we're actually going to take it off the heat and we're going to add our chili flakes. And we're going to add our pasta. And we're going to add that saved quarter cup of pasta water. And this is just going to make our pasta a little bit more creamy. Now as we begin to toss, we're going to throw in our parsley. And our lemon juice. Now we are ready to serve. Thanks, Angela. This looks really great. I only wish we could eat it because once you prepare food in the lab, you're not allowed to eat it anymore, so we're going to have to throw it out. This is a sample I made at home. Good. I'm glad you like it, Dr. Willett. 